Then your man know Nicky's do it better I know you don't like me, you wanna fight me Always on my page, never double tap like me Baddies to my left and my right Never chase a corny nigga One, two, three, fuck it Hey baddies, welcome back to my channel if you are new and if not, welcome back. And I know y'all looking at me like, girl, what kind of setup is this? Today, I could be doing a pamper routine so I can get fixed up and not look like this the whole video. I know I'm looking rough, but yeah, I just wanted to show y'all what I do for my pamper routine. So the first thing I'm going to do before I start anything is I'm going to clean my room because I feel like it might make my pamper routine go a little bit more smoother. I could take a relaxed shower and show y'all all the skincare stuff what I do because I see a few people I see a few people asking what's my skincare routine even though my skin right now is like it's not how I want it at all I can kind of show y'all what I do so yeah let me start doing what I have to do now but the first thing I like to do is light a candle you know to set the mood or whatever to be relaxed and then I am gonna tie my hair up now put it in a little braid and then put it up and then put my headband on so that I could go in the shower. So first I use my bar soap, then I go in and use my body wash and then exfoliate. So right here, I just chose any one of these body wash to use. Now I'm going to exfoliate my leg before I shave it. Y'all, please don't look at my toes. Girl, I know. So I just come out of the shower. Now I'm going to do my skincare routine to the thing. Before I start this, I know skin expert, no dermatologist, whatever you want to call it. I just show you now working for me and what I try in. I recently changed um, my face wash and stuff because the one I used to use, I can show you right now, used to burn my face. So, this is like how my face looked before I wash it oily, you know, dirty. And this, the um, this is the face wash I used to use, but it was burning up my skin. It's the Clean and Clear Continuous Control Acne Cleanser with 10% benzoyl peroxide acne treatment. I don't know if it's because I was using it every day. I ain't supposed to use it every day. I used to use it morning and night. And it just started burning my face, so I stopped using it. And I was using like Dove soap for a while. And then I don't know, I just caused my skin had rashes and stuff because I guess my skin wasn't used to the stuff I was using and changing it to. So then I just stopped using stuff and then just use water. Just use water. And then I started using the product. So I'm going to show you what I do now. So the first thing I do before I start, well, this is what I do with my pump routine. I don't do these stuff every day. But with face wash, I use. The set is, what? What I was gonna say? Set of fill gentle cleanser. This is the bar one. It's the bar soap I use on my face. It's the same thing as the pump one, just cheaper. And I use a spin brush that I get from Walmart for like five dollars. And I just started using this. I use this clean and clear scrub. Started using this. I use this like maybe twice a week, once a week. Then I have my volcano volcanic ash mask that I use like sometimes once a month i supposed to use it like once a week but sometimes i use it one to two times a month not too much and then i have my witch hazel that i running out of now i don't use this every day and not every night i use it like every other day and then i use these cotton balls with it to wipe it okay so now the first thing i'm gonna do is wash my hand because i didn't touch all kind of stuff from i come with the shower and it's good to wash your hand because you don't want to put germs on your face and dirt on your face so i'm gonna do that after i wash my hand i like to run wait let me move some of stuff out of the way i like to run the hot water so i could put my brush under for like a couple seconds to wash it off in case any like stuff in the air go on it yeah now i go in with put a little bit of cold water with the hot water and i put a little bit on my face a little bit some days i just use my hand i don't like using my brush every day i don't be into that get my brush and turn it on so turn it off and now i just put this on my face i really hope y'all could see let me step back Okay, so now I've rinsed that off. 
I rinse with cold water. Okay, so now after I already do my face, my um, yeah, after I do this over my face, I go in with this clean and clear scrub. I don't do too much. This has salicylic acid in it, which should be good for the tiny bumps I have on my forehead. And my hands a little bit. Water now. <laughs> okay, remember how I say my skin is get irritated and then break out? I'm not gonna use oh shoot. I'm not gonna use my mask today because I don't want to irritate my face by using these products back to back. So I just gonna dry dry my face with this towel. Feels like I get buzzed right now. And whenever I don't dry, just let it air dry. That's all I have to say. But yeah, I, I don't know. I don't have to do this. I usually do this like in the morning. That's when I do this in the morning. Um, set a fill twice a day, couple times a week. Whenever I remember. So yeah, let's go in the room now so I can change my shirt and show you what I do after all of this skincare and bathroom stuff. I also use um turmeric and your good mask that's the best mask i see i use so far i believe you know lighten my skin and make it look all smooth and clear so i like using that one Peace. so after my shower i usually just get something to eat watch some netflix then i go look at some youtube videos i probably look at some stuff i want to buy and that's about it hey y'all so today is what the, why did i just point in the camera like that like girl hey y'all so it's the next day today is monday please excuse my bed in the back today is my cleanup day to change everything around in my room you know what i'm talking about okay so that's why you know she on my bed i know you can see it i mean like we're talking a little fast because i'm trying to finish up this video so i can post it with y'all today so that's why i'm talking kind of fast but I'm going to be giving y'all tips, like hygiene tips that I know that I do. I ain't no expert, no none of that. I just can tell y'all what I could do. If you take that advice, cool. If you don't, still cool. I just come out of the shower. So, that's why you see me have one of these pajamas. I wanted to feel like, you know, it's a sleepover and me and you talking or whatever. Just to be extra. So, that's why I have this on. This matching set with the pants. Okay. But anyways, with all uh, extraness, let me just start talking or whatever about the stuff. Um, so y'all already see me do my skincare routine. I can show y'all like tips and stuff what I used to for like my body from neck down. So the first thing I would say is um, when it comes to taking a shower or bath, at least do, at least do it once a day. Please don't bathe twice a week, three times a week, seven days a week need to bathe every single day and if you don't bathe twice a day bathe one today and brush your teeth twice a day please please floss please use mouthwash don't be up in people's face talking if you know you don't brush your teeth and if somebody off you gum take it don't ever deny it because you don't know and yes hair is very much there in the back the soap that i use is this dove the white plain bar I use this for my whole body first and I also use it for Miss Girl on there. This I use this instead of using Summer Zeeb and Vagisil because baby if you use them, it probably working for you. I ain't gonna knock nobody's stuff and please don't be out here douching Miss Girl because I was talking to my mommy about it today and I was asking her like, you know what inside douching products? Because like I see a lot of people that talk for it. And a lot of people is use it but it seemed like nobody know what inside it so that's weird if everybody buying it I don't know what inside it but it probably have the ingredients on it I never just read it because I never pick it up and don't clean the inside of your vagina the little hole that that's inside and you know all that that's your vagina you could clean the outside of it 
fine no problem you can even use this to clean the outside but don't take the soapy towel and stick it inside because the vagina cleans itself but however you could use warm water so i use this and warm water and i just do the trick so next after we then use the dove that's like our first wash i have about three body washes that I use. I'm gonna put y'all on right now because ah, I'm so excited. The first body wash I have is again Dove. You know I love pink, so this is probably the first reason why I buy this. Go Fresh Renew Nourishing Body Wash Raspberry and Lime Scent, and this is to the trick. This and the bar soap together, clean, very much clean, squeaky clean. This my next favorite. Um, what are the three of these? To me, this is the best one, even though it's small. Three Hut Shea Moisturizing Body Wash Tropical Mango. This smells so good. Like when I first get this, I mean, as y'all can see. And by the way, I'm recommending, and y'all that I don't use, everything you see here, I use. When I, I probably use this like three times from my get this. I don't use it like every day because I don't want to use it every day. Some days I just use the Dove Bar Soap. It smells so good. I think it's the, what it is, the mango. Yeah, that's why I like it so much. This one was this. I just got this like two days ago. And it's this soft soap brand, Juicy Pomegranate and Mango. I think I started to have an obsession with mango. Like, it's not that bad. Like, it, it smells just like mango, just like the first one. But it wasn't as good. So I was like, okay, maybe the thing will work. Judging it off its smell. And I come with the top. I was like, like my skin was so soft. I was like, I was fucking my skin for the longest. And now I just shave my leg and I use this on my leg too. My leg was smooth. Smooth, smooth, smooth. I don't even know like like a baby leg. My leg was smooth like that. Like for real, for real. So that's a good one as well. Now, when it comes to Okay, let's do body scrubs before we do the shaving. So for body scrubs, I just started using Tree Hut. Believe it or not, everybody else is probably on game before me. It's the Brazilian nut. Actually, the first one I tried was like a coffee, coffee something. But this is another one. This Brazilian nut. This is good. This is good. I don't know. I like the smell too. Exfoliating is really good for your body. I probably used to do it like I used to do it twice a week. Why is it probably? I do it twice a week. Some people will probably do it three times a week. It's whatever you want to do. You could even do it once a week. Huh? This, oof, this sugar scrub. This a nice one. This smells good too. I don't know, pink bubble gum, something like that. That's what. That's the vibe it gives me. Let me keep it real. This exfoliating. This is take away all the dead skin. So like the marks which you'll see like under your arm, the dark tone. I put some of this under my arm like twice. And I realized that it's lighted, so you don't even have to go through finding all kind of products to lighten under your arm. You could use this when you um you're supposed to exfoliate before you shave your legs. So I use this before I shave my legs. Just take some, put it on, shave it, and sometimes I'll exfoliate after. And my leg is be smooth. I just just use this from neck down, of course not on your vagina, and yeah. But you could use it for like for dark skin girls. But let me not say dark skin girls. For people be thinking like colorists or whatever. But for my girls who have like you know that dark mark under your hip, that is a that too. Like for my neck, I don't know if it like really working. I know y'all see the stuff under my neck. I don't really care too much. Take it or leave it. I try it on my neck too. But overall, body scrubs is good. Okay, now when it comes to shaving, what I do. I can show y'all what I do starting from hair from my arm to my leg. I don't like shaving under my arm. That don't mean that I keep down under there. So baby. Don't get it mixed up. Instead of shaving, because I don't really like shaving under my arm, I use nail. I think just the cream nail. I just squeeze it out, get a cube tip, hold my hand up like this, put it under my arm, put it under the next arm, and let it sit for like 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how much hair. I have under my arm. Yeah, y'all know how to take off nail. Just rinse it off and it just be smooth skin. When it comes to my lady girl, what I use 
I don't shave. Like some people say they shave every day. I don't think that's good. Y'all on games, throw away them female razors that y'all be using because that's why you be getting cut. You're supposed to be using these Gillette, these men razors. Believe it or not, men razors is better than women razors. Three blade razors. This is the one with the three pack. They have like three. I think they have three. Three, four, five, or six blades, something like that. They didn't go up to six blades. This is way better than them female razors that probably have like two blades and stuff. You don't really know how to like shave. And don't be shaving hard because that could probably cause you to be getting to be getting cut and stuff like that. So when you shave, okay, y'all. So my camera decided to act and we got it. So back to what I was saying, you don't want to be shaving like this. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. You want to shave like this. I shave like this. Light strokes. And take your time. If you're rushing somewhere to go, don't shave. First thing you want to do when you shave in, Miss Girl, exfoliate the top. I use olive oil. Um, Organic olive oil. Olive oil you get out your kitchen. Perfect. Then you get a little bit put it on it make sure it's like covered up the hairs and stuff and then you shave going down or sideways before you start shaving it's best to trim like if you have a lot of hairs it's best to trim your hairs because if you go in shaving like that i think that like that's what it's helped you i mean that's what it's caused you to get like cuts and stuff that i do i don't know if it's supposed to be right true after you then shave you supposed to like moisturize it because you don't want to leave it dry because yeah that's not good every time you order it and after like after I exfoliate I just wait 10 minutes and then I just put on this Jergens lotion that's the end of this video I hope y'all enjoyed my pump routine plus the tips I gave y'all let me know or let everybody else know some tips that you might have that I didn't speak about in the comments don't watch my bed because yeah I can fix my bed now this video and let me know some video ideas y'all may have thank you for watching see y'all in my next video bye baddies I know you don't like me you wanna fight me always on my page never double tap like me baddies to my left